How many practice tests do you do a day? If your answer is above three, you're doing too much. You're studying hard, not smart. I fell into this trap of doing way too many practice tests a day when I was preparing for the selective high school exam, trying to see who can do the most amongst my friends. But I misunderstood quantity over quality. Look bro, you can get into these selective schools by doing one practice test a day. Yes, just one practice test a day if you do the following. So it's not the five practice tests that will allow you to improve. It's what you do in the next hour or the time after the test that will allow you to improve. Essentially, you'd want to be prioritizing checking over the test, really understanding why you got questions incorrect or correct, which I'll get to in a moment. Look, you can do a lot of practice questions, but you really need to understand the methods or techniques to get them correct. Repeating that question five times a day amongst the other, what, 49 questions, does not enable you to understand how to get that question correct. It's the time you spend on that individual question, whether it's 15 minutes or an hour. What's important is that you understand how to solve the question so you won't repeat the mistake. Now just a few seconds ago, I mentioned checking over questions you got correct. This mainly applies to practice tests that are working out in the solutions. Basically, there may be a better way to complete the question than you did. A more efficient technique may exist that could save you precious seconds. Because every second counts in this exam. And I'm not just talking about maths here if that's what it seems like. It also includes a verbal and reading exam. It might be a word you've never heard of or the how many pings in a pong type question. You need to understand the meaning of the word or the techniques to solve the ping zong dong questions. I can't just assume you know how to do the question by just looking at the answer. It doesn't work like that my friend. You need to invest time in these questions in order to really develop your understanding. So you will get it correct the next time you come across it. Especially for vocabulary, there's a really effective technique you can use in order to cement the meaning of the word in your brain. Check this video out. See you there.